Namaste, my dear student. Today we will learn a new chapter that is introduction to HTML5. Let us see. In this chapter, student, we will learn how to start HTML5, what is HTML5, HTML editors, HTML5 doc type, basic HTML tags, structure of HTML5, how to create and save HTML5, how to view HTML5 file, advantages and disadvantages of HTML5, and comparison between the common HTML and HTML5. So, what is HTML? Before starting to HTML, we should know that what are the web technologies available in design web pages, how, how to design web pages. And some of the technologies available are like first markup language. These are the languages designed to process or designed to process, define and format a document. Uh, they use tags to define elements within a document like HTML5, CSS and XML. Uh, uh, there are many programming languages are also available to code the web pages like C, C++, Java and all. There are various databases available for storing the data and or retrieving the process in a computer network and many web servers are also available like here the server technology or a network allow user to share the resources and offer convenient communi communication now the uh, now the next part is how to get started with html5 basically html5 is what it is a hypertext markup language and it is a version 5 which is used to develop the web pages now in this uh, uh, to develop any web page using HTML5, one should have a basic knowledge of HTML and following software should be installed in a system like for text editor, notepad, notepad++, edit+, textmate, adopt dreamweaver or latest browser like firefox, uh, google Chrome, or safari. This all the software which are required to be installed before starting to HTML. Now what is HTML? HTML is what? It is a hypertext markup language which is used to create the web pages. Now HTML5 is the most advanced form of markup language which is used for structuring and presenting the contents on the worldwide web. To uh, make some web pages we use which, uh, which tool, which application we use HTML for that. Okay, now HTML5 is introduced with markup language and application programming interface known as API. What is the full form of API? Application programming interface. Now HTML5 defines the processing of any invalid document and in the worldwide consortium or W3C introduce a logo to represent the interest in HTML5 in the year 1st April 2011. Now, there are various attributes are, uh, are being present to create the web pages. Okay, so uh, basically what is HTML? HTML is a uh, hypertext markup language. Now, for a couple of HTML5 graphic elements that are the most frequently used are Canvas and SVG. Canvas is used to draw graphics via scripting and SVG is used to draw scalable vector graphics. For drawing the graphics, we use SVG and for uh, drawing the graphic via scripting or by coding, we use which tag? Canvas tag. Now, new media elements are introduced in HTML5 like audio tag which is used to define sound content, embed tag which is used to define a container for an external application like to uh, use the external web page, we use which tag? Embed tag okay or we need to link anything then we use which tag and wait tag okay next is source which is used to define multiple media sources for elements like video or audio next is track defines next track or text track for media elements like video or audio next video defines uh, video or movie to make the content dynamic to add this all things we use which tag this all tags are being used next you need to be remember the tag and its description next is to create an HTML document, we use this editor, WYSIWYG editor name, which stands for what you see is what you get, editor we use, okay. So this is the editor and this is the page is being available, okay. You just need, uh, uh, we will not do the practical thing, we will see only in this uh, view, okay. Like how does it work, okay. Next, text editor, in text editor, the uh, notepad is used, okay next in uh, html5 you can see the picture how it looks okay like how to write the code html then body then uh, yeah, these are the tags uh, tags are available in which uh, form in 
the coated form okay the angular codes it's being available okay next is html5 doc type what is doc type means it begins with a doc type okay see this is the doc type html being available now basic html tag what are the basic html tags this is the tag html what does it mean the description is available like html this tag indicates start of the html document head is used to uh, represent the document header uh, like uh, why we use document header for representing title or links okay next title under the head we write what title this tag is used to ins uh, inside head title next body in this we write all the contents in the body tag then p is used to represent a paragraph br tag is used to insert a line break h1 is used to give heading on a web page next b is used to make the text bold in html next i is used to make the text italic in html u is used to text underline in html i will make you uh, uh, i will show one example using the html after the explanation of this chapter see this is the structure of html5 how does it look you can see here next uh, creating and saving an html5 you just need to start button go to notepad and then write the html code and then click on the save and you need to save it by uh, the extension name as which extension dot html okay and then open it with any of the browser that this is the only thing you need to be followed in html okay so uh, now we'll come to the advantages and disadvantages part i will make you understand in the practical session after this explanation see uh, what is the advantages of html5 it allow user to develop the code neatly uh, it supports audio and video control it features element elegant canvas element allow developer to draw graphic it supports geolocation as well which allow anyone to find locate and share the information it provides an offline application like catch app catchy these are the application being available level in html5 now there are various disadvantages as well if any advantages is available so uh, it is sure that some disadvantages is also available in that like it supports only updated version of browser it consume more time to develop mobile applications in mobile application efficiency of code totally depends on translational engine uh, it doesn't provide same flexibility and html tag behave differently on different platforms so this is all about uh, HTML some mastering keyboard is also available shortcut keys to launch uh, various programs you can see here and uh, there are some comparison between HTML and HTML5 like doc type declaration is too long in HTML but in HTML5 it is quite simple it does not support audio and video tag in HTML but in HTML5 it supports vector graphics can be supported only with the use of plugins but here it is being predefined so uh, in HTML5 it's supported by using the canvas tag next uh, in the basic specific it uses bold paragraph line but in this the specific elements like article footer section are being available it introduces only the basic form control but it uses the advanced form controls are available in html5 uh, not possible to draw shapes like circle triangle but here it allows to draw shape conveniently browser cache can be used as temporary storage but here the uh, browser cache are temporary stored but in a uh, very vast format we can store in html5 it does not allow javascript like scripting doesn't allow in html coding is don't allow means a simple coding is allowed but here the javascript is available in html5 so this is all about your chapter now i will make you understand through practical through one example by doing how to work in html okay let us see dear students first of all you all are required to open notepad okay how you will open you need to search it and click on notepad and then click on open when you will click on open you will find that the notepad window has been opened right now uh, the tag you have to use like your uh, the angular packet you need to use and write here html and uh, write close the tag as well okay then in the between write head after html we use to write head okay and similarly this also to be closed okay next uh, uh, under head you need to write the title okay title you need to write the 
title okay uh, under title i am writing here like dps jagdalpur okay and the title also to be closed see i am closing the title as well okay after that you uh, you will come out of the body uh, uh, out of the uh, head and then you will write here body under the body you used to write all the things whatever you want to write like under the body i want to write like html is a marker language okay this line i want to show in my web page i will close the body as well okay so i have closed my body and my html tags is ready okay now how i will save it i will go to i will click on file and then i will click on save under save what i will do one pop up window will be opened i i want to save this in uh, like like i want to save this in desktop okay and i will write the file name as abc dot html dot html is important you need to give the extension name as what dot html the file name you will write any file name and then dot html and then click on save so you you have saved your file just minimize it okay you can see the abc file name is saved see here this is my html tag right click it okay right click in and open with open with google chrome that's it you need to follow this step so uh, you will find that you have created your web page the web page will be open it takes a while time it will open 